Canvas boards can be a great alternative to a stretched canvas, but there are some things that you need to know about first before you buy. Hi, my name is Jess. I'm from the Gold Coast Art School. So what the heck are these things anyway? Well, in short, a canvas board is a hard piece of cardboard that has a piece of canvas fabric that's been stretched and glued on top of it and primed. They're pretty easy to get, but there are different types for different purposes. Most of them are just for acrylics and oil paints, but you can get some that are for watercolors as well. Canvas boards can actually be quite a bit cheaper compared to something like a stretched canvas. Size can also be another benefit to these things. Now they come in a huge range of sizes. Some of them are teeny tiny, very petite. They're lovely little things. And quite often these smaller sizes are the ones that you will be able to easily buy in packs. Usually the canvas boards are rectangular and you can get quite large ones. Let me try and find a large one here for you. Lucy, beautiful painting. She's doing an oil painting on this one. If you have a look on the back of the canvas boards, they actually print the sizing. This one is a 24 by 30 inch. Another thing about the size is not just the actual dimensions of it, but the width of it too. These things are just, you know, they're paper thin, it's cardboard. So you can actually buy quite a few of these and store them really easily, pack them together, take them with you. They're just so easy to carry around versus like a canvas that's been stretched. <laughs> Plus they're a lot lighter as well. So if you do drop it on the floor and it does land on your foot, you're probably not gonna lose a toe. They can actually take a bit of a beating. You can smack these things around and you're probably not gonna break them or lose their shape. Unlike something like a stretched canvas, which is a bit more delicate. And we've seen a lot of canvases that get accidentally poked through. This stuff, smack it around and it's not gonna be a problem. And if you are a fan of texture and more 3D works, then boards will also be a really big benefit to you because you can more easily stick stuff on top of these like clay and other objects without the sort of worry that, oh, maybe it'll pop off. Like if you used a fabric canvas and you put lots of textural stuff on here, there's the potential for it to crack and fall off but if you use a board it's not going to go anywhere so that's another really big benefit of using a canvas board so what are the things that you need to look out for what are maybe some of the negatives all right one of these you're going to have to get close up we're getting real close you have to get real close canvas boards use different types of fabrics and you don't really have as much control over that as you might with a stretched canvas a good canvas board will be smooth you can run your fingertips over the surface and it just glides over easily but a poor quality board will catch you can't always see it but you can feel it. Your fingertips will just catch on the surface of the board as you sort of run your hand across it. What this means is that it's going to be more absorbent. The board will absorb more of your paint as you're working and it's not going to be as forgiving as say a primed stretched canvas. Another negative is actually to do with the size. So while you can go teeny tiny and these are very petite and very cute, you're very restricted. So really what you see is what you get. Like if you can't go any bigger than this, but you wanna go bigger than this, forget about it, it's not gonna happen. You might be better off going with a stretched canvas instead. Also, you're really restricted by the shape of the board as well. Um, if you don't want a rectangle, then you're gonna have to figure out another way. And lastly, this is something that I did talk about in another video about stretched canvases. It can be a really big problem. And unfortunately, it is a problem for canvas boards as well. And that is, warping. Can you see that? I'm trying to hold it straight, but it's actually kind of impossible because the board itself has bent. Boards don't have any kind of frame or spine or anything there to keep it straight and flat. And unfortunately, the larger the board is, the more likely it is to start bending. Now we do have a student who she did some beautiful textural pieces on really large canvas boards that she loves so much and she's put them up in her home. They look amazing. So I think that if you're gonna do a beautiful painting that you wanna keep or you wanna give to somebody else or sell 
it, then you have to make sure that you do eventually frame it. So what is the best use for canvas boards anyway? We think that the best use for a canvas board is experimenting with testing things, do a few little exercises and things like that. And that's generally what we use the boards for because we use them all the time. They're a big part of our courses here, but we just use them in that kind of a sense in more like an exercise sense rather than a, this is the best final piece that you're ever gonna do in your life kind of situation. Do you agree? <laughs> Maybe some of you disagree with me. Maybe you do prefer to just use canvas boards or you have other benefits in mind that you really love these things for. Let me know in the comments down below. Also throw us a bit of a like and a subscribe as well. We'd love to have you on board here with our channel and have chats with you every single week and I'll see you all then. Bye.